Normally, I tend to post new content on Mondays. However, I wanted to do a special bonus video this week. Um, I wanted to react to my recent collaboration with the king of the underground himself. Let's get started. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Matthew Nelson and I have a series on YouTube called Run Underground, which is to run every line and station that features on the London Tube map so you don't have to. And for those of you that do know me already, welcome back. So I was recently in a video with Jeff where we challenged each other to uh, run from station to station within the quickest time and who was going to be faster. Uh, it was from South Kensington over to Fulham Broadway. We decided upon that route because Jeff had actually kept some newspaper cuttings that he's had for the last like 20 years, which is insane. He kept some newspaper cuttings of people that had run this previously. So running from the tube at South Kensington and then running down Fulham Road, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, getting back on the train over at Fulham Broadway. And we kind of wanted to pay homage to that. I imagine back then it would be a lot easier to do because the trains were a bit slower, the signaling maybe wasn't as efficient. And if you need a reminder of the newspaper articles, I'm gonna put a snippet of them somewhere on the screen so that you know what it is that I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna watch Jeff's video now and I'm gonna see, we're gonna see. I've not seen any of it, so I'm like, I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> All right, hit it. Hello, good morning. It's a quiet Sunday morning. All right, time out. So first of all, <laughs> so this took about six or seven takes to do. Just in order to get the words out, it, um, yeah, took quite a few goes. Get my friend Matt. Morning. Morning, hi. Hey, thanks for coming. Oh, thank you so much. Matt's from the channel Run the Ground. What's Run the Ground? Run the Ground is running every line and to every station that features on the London Tube map, so you don't have to. We'll plug that later, but you're a fast <laughs> runner, and so I'm challenging you twice. You had to do it twice. God, why not? So we did film this a couple of times because I did fumble my words a little bit, and I think it was just a little bit anxious. What tends to happen is that when I first start filming, I struggle with trying to get my words out, but then once I'm comfortable, then it's fine. This is it, we're just gonna start. So I'm gonna start my stopwatch. We'll do a three, two, one, go. Yep. Are you down that way and right? And I'll see you outside the front of Fulham Broadway Station in about 10 minutes? In about 10 or so minutes, yeah. Okay. So straight after we filmed our bit outside of the station, there was a Wimbledon train that was in three minutes. So I had to quickly stuff my t-shirt into his bag and then, because I've got quite long hair, I needed to time a hair off. So that's why you can probably see me like fumble around like, oh my God. <laughs> Whenever it is, this yeah. is it? Right. So I, I never realised it, but my hair was like sticking out like that. I kind of look like a Teletubby, <laughs> just a little bit. But have you ever seen me and Tinky Winky in the same room? I'm just saying. Matt, are you ready? Happened? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. So we just set off, and the first thing that I thought of was, hell, I've not pushed record. <laughs> so at some point. Um, I can't remember when exactly it was, but I remember like running and then like checking because I had a chest harness on with my camera attached and I remember like trying to run and then checking to see like if my camera was filming. He's off. If you listen to the sound of me running, you can hear the bleep and it's because I had a metronome that was set up. It helps me with my running cadence. Cadence is how many times that your foot strikes the floor. So if you do a, a sprint, you're going to have a higher cadence than someone who's maybe doing a light jog where it's not as intense. So for any of the stat nerds, um, I set my metronome as, I think it was 182 beats per minute. If you look at the averages of uh, running cadence. Usually 182 is about the pace of like 3 minutes 50 I think it is. The face covering is on and <laughs> oh dear sorry Matt I've lucked out. There's a Wimbledon train in one minute. And that's the thing it would kind of defeat the purpose as well of it being a race. It wouldn't be a race if he was waiting for his train for 10 minutes. <laughs> I do like as well while I'm running and the camera is like doing that. I feel like as if it's quite bad running technique on my end because I feel it looks like as if I'm I'm doing that. 
feels weird doing it while sat down. <laughs> uh, Matt kind of does like three minute 50, four minute kilometers. So he, he could do a park run in like tw 19 or 20 minutes. So uh, it, he's not a slow runner. He's not a slow runner. I never used to be the fastest runner in school. But it's good to hear that out loud. <laughs> I will take that compliment any day, thank you. I think he said it was two and a half kilometers. He should be able to run that in, in like 10, 11 minutes. Depends also if he's had to stop, you know, for traffic and traffic lights and crossings, crossing the road. If you've ever been in a race, if, even if it's a park run event or anything, and you notice, for example, like you'd be going like, yeah, I'm like feeling powerful, like running, bro, whatever but then your shoelace comes undone and then suddenly you have to stop and then tie your shoelace and do whatever. Even though you're doing it as quick as possible, in your head it feels like as if everything is just taking so much longer than what it actually is. And that was my reaction when I was waiting at the traffic lights because I thought it was just like, oh f like he's gonna be there, like waiting. And so I, I was getting really stressed. <laughs> Make it at one point because he got stuck at the traffic lights not just once but twice. Oh, that was right. I forgot about that. There was a double whammy. I was not only stuck at the lights once, but to have that happen for the second time. Stress. Let's see where Mr. Marshall's at. Just in case if anybody asks, I use this. Uh, camera here, so it, it's the Digi Osmo Pocket, and I love the fact that it's completely stabilized. So that's how I get really smooth footage. On how long did it take you? Alrighty, so checking my history, it took me two kilometers 44, and that was nine minutes and 49 seconds. So the total distance for that, as you just heard, it was two kilometers 44, and my total time was nine minutes and 49 seconds. I think that had I not have been stuck at the lights twice, I think that that could have been done in nine minutes. Either way, anyway. This is the point of the video where we plug Matt's channel. Matt, what's your channel? So you can find my channel Runderground. I've finished doing the Central Line, Jubilee Line. I've recently started the Piccadilly, so I've got a new video that's coming every Monday. Make sure that you tune in and watch it. We tried to speak a little bit more about the context of Runderground, but because of the tube announcements and like beeps, buzzing and whatever, I want to preface this by saying that Runderground is not like this type of content where it's like racing the tube or anything. Um, for me, Runderground is documenting what lies between stations. It's not a time challenge. It's not trying to run station to station in the quickest time. It's just about having an adventure and to just try something different for a running challenge. And most importantly, it's just getting people, it's, it's being active, I think is what's most important. But just as a reminder that this channel is not about like running from station to station in the quickest time or anything like that. Um, I just need to explain that for my end because, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I explained it in this video. Okay, so we've come to Sloan Square. Here's our train. Trains are coming in. Matthew, are you ready? We're ready, ready. <laughs> just as we were changing platforms, Wimbledon train, one minute. I was like, oh god, I'm not going to have not, like, I'm not going to have time for a, a breather. I was like, oh, you know, like it's happening like almost a bit too quickly. <laughs> If we hadn't have got that, then we'd just been waiting for another 10 minutes and no, nah, it's daft. We'll get this train and then we'll start the timer when we get to South Kent. I'm like getting sweaty hands watching this. I was so, I, I was really, really nervous. I knew that I needed to like be in the zone and whatever. So that's what I didn't really spend a lot of time talking during this. I just wanted to be like, Right, whoosh, like that, whoosh. I will say this, I don't think I should have been in that carriage. When I'd done the recce, I should have gone the carriage behind. Like we sort of had a rough, d rough idea where to go because we used station master apps, you know, like which part of the tube that you need to be on to be directly in front of the exit. And I think I just could have done with being one down because then you had to like run out 
and then stop, turn left and then run up the stairs instead of just running directly onto the stairs. I think if I was to ever do this again, that would be the only thing that I would change. Uh, yeah, that's really fast. That's uh, six, It's going to be six minutes 40. There's no way he's made it. I've totally beat him. Yeah, nah. He demolished me. <laughs> he absolutely demolished me. At six minutes, put it six minutes 54, six minutes 55. So seven minutes. Like two, two and a half kilometers. Actually, more than that because you, actually, you, you have to get out of the station and then once you get to Fulham, you have to go through the shopping center and then drop down into this. Yeah, two and a half k in seven minutes. Like that's fucking fast. <laughs> so as soon as I'd come around the corner and I saw Jeff there filming, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, no, like I can't, yeah. But here's the thing, like I thought, at the time I thought I just missed him. I think he said he'd been waiting for like three minutes. Six minutes, 55. Call this, round it up to uh, seven minutes. You know what, I love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I did have a lot of odds that were stacked against me going into it. Even like from, from not making the, the um, platform to platform, even if I'm not making that, I'm, I'm not disappointed. Like, I still think it's a decent effort anyway. So that is the end of watching the video. What are my thoughts? Um, I actually had so much fun. <laughs> I, I really did. I had so much fun. And just to be asked to be involved was such a pleasure. So thank you so much, Jeff, for inviting me onto your channel. I do very much appreciate it. So thank you so much. Would I ever do something like that again? I'd be open to it. I reckon it'd be really fun. But um, but other than that, that is everything from my end. So thank you so much for tuning in to Run the Ground. <laughs> if this is the type of content that you are interested in, do feel free to subscribe down below and I'll see you next time for Run the Ground. Already so Jeff is getting shots of pigeons. <laughs> Jeff was so much faster going from platform to platform. To be honest, I'm not surprised. Are you video bombing me? I see you. Over to you. <laughs> no, carry on, I'm going to get Oh, sure thing. Already. Um, but that